This is day one of our cabin. We rented an awesome cabin this year. This is probably the best one we've ever rented. It's got this great overhang out front where we can park the Jeep. It's got a huge backyard. I'll show you that in just a second. But one of the cool features, and we've never had in a cabin before, this cabin's got a garage, which kind of leads me to the first oddity of this place that I found so far. This, let me just show you, come on. So like many houses, it has a garage, right? That's pretty normal. Right here, we rented it, they give you the garage code. The first thing I noticed when I came in was right there. I was like, oh, is this like kind of an unfinished out room with a, I thought this was like a, a bathroom over here until I got closer. And then, let me flip on the light here. Okay, so. We've got a family safe. This is a panic room, is what we got, folks. Let's take a look inside. So, it's got a little, an outlet with a plug and this little LED light in here. And one, two, three padlocks. This right here, I don't understand someone scratching to get out or but I mean you, you're not really locked in not unless they I don't know this this is kind of weird let me turn off the light in here Oops. so I don't know this is kind of weird um what's all those scratches on the inside of the door and the mud it, I mean a little weird but hey it's got a panic room maybe there I mean this is a very well-built house the furniture's incredible the, the property is amazing we met one of the neighbors when we first got here and he owns like uh truck dealerships like but mac trucks volvo semi truck dealerships super nice guy uh he was real welcoming just because we're like renters or vacationers here he's like oh you guys need anything knock on over say hi whatever so unusual normally the people aren't as nice but uh I just wonder about this place. This is crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Let me turn off the light. I don't need a light on in the garage. And then we got over here. There's like a trail right here. I'm well, when I show you what I show you inside, you'll understand why I'm a little reluctant to walk on this trip. What is this over here? Got some sort of power thing. There's a water pump maybe under there so as you can see this is a really really nice cabin I'm I'll take the drone up fly it around and show you the dogs love the backyard they're having a blast here but the panic room I thought was a little strange so let me show you inside a little bit of it here and it's a little messy because we've already got our stuff in but hey we're on vacation nap time let's be quiet vlog time for me nap time for everybody else let's see here okay so let me show you the next part that, that I thought was a little odd in here um, the master bath is it's pretty epic as you can see this master bath has got an epic tub the shower I mean Incredible. So, and look at this. Most of the cabins we stay in do not have any closet space. That's probably one of the biggest gripes, I'd say. But this thing's got a huge closet. Just huge. And so when we were in here, you know, we came in last night. That's the Christmas tree. We came in here last night and it's a little cooler and we were looking for blankets. So I, there was some, some spare blankets, you know, up here. Like they got spare pillows here. And so I came walking in here and I heard, you hear that? What is this? What 
in the world. What is this? This has got me a little concerned. What in the hell? What? Jesus. Oh. oh boy. Puts the lotion in the skin or gets the hose again. Weirdness. I often wonder about the people that own these houses and what kind of people they are. This is some weird shit. Other than the weirdness with the panic room and then the silence of the lambs, little pit that you put the lotion on its skin or gets the hose again in there, that's uh, it's a little weird. It just begs the question, are there cameras here? I mean, doubtful, right? Let me know when we do that. I don't know. But as always, it's gonna be another epic week. Hope you come back and watch some more of the videos I get from this. I got the laptop with me this time, so hopefully I'll be uploading them while I'm here and having a little fun. I know normally I've been doing uh, tech review stuff and I might do some comparisons with that. I brought the ZV-1 with me and that's gonna do the bulk of the work, but maybe here around the cabin, I might use the, uh, the A7 III a little bit. I haven't really done any vlogs with the A7 III prior to this one. So let me know in the comments what you think of it and if it was pretty good or if it looks cool, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got the drone, the Mavic Mini, the ZV-1, the A7 III, two very energetic and enthusiastic dogs, and 14 days of fun ahead of us. I love it here in the North Georgia mountains. We're in the town of Blue Ridge. Going to have a blast. Going to share it with you. Make sure you subscribe and you can come along on these little adventures. See you in the next one. Bye.